like any other person who was requested to provide information, did comply. When you look at the articles of impeachment at the beginning of all of this, of course, there was the Mueller investigation for 22 months, which alleged many things, and ultimately the results turned out uh, that there were no crimes committed by the president, as we had looked into when we were in the majority and knew that years ago, but for whatever reason, others wanted to con continue making assertions. Those assertions turned out to be false. And so instead of dropping it there, then you had the whistleblower complaint and the allegations of all of these things that happened on a phone call. Only problem is the president then released the transcript of the phone call. And not only did those things not get reflected in the transcript, but the two people who actually participated, who should be listened to the most, both said there was nothing wrong with the call. President Zelensky was asked, was there any pressure applied? He said no. He got the money. He got the money, and he also got the Javelin missiles. He thanked President Trump on the phone call for the aid that allowed him to push back Russia. And as I'll point out, President Trump sold 360 Javelin missiles to Ukraine so they could defend themselves pushing back against Russia. President Obama and Vice President Joe Biden sold zero Javelin missiles to Ukraine to help them push back from Russia. So all of this assertion that one president's not allowing Ukraine to get the aid they need to stand up to Russia has turned out to be true. President Obama's the one who didn't allow Ukraine to have the tools they need, sold them zero. They asked, please sell us the Javelin missile so we can defend ourselves against Russian aggression. And President Obama and Vice President Biden said no. Why? That's a good question. And maybe somebody wants to open an investigation into that. But in the meantime, President Trump said yes. He actually sold him 360 javelins. President Zelensky on the call thanked him. Was there pressure applied? Actually, there were thanks involved. President Zelensky thanking President Trump for allowing him the tools to stand up to Russia. He said, we may buy more, but he thanked him for the ones that he sold. No quid pro quo. There were no investigations. They asked for help, and President Trump said, absolutely. We will help you stand up to Russia. And the facts are there. And then you look at the catch-all articles of impeachment. It wasn't the bribery and the quid pro quo that were alleged for months, because there was none. And so that's not in the articles of impeachment. So you see these catch-all phrases like abuse of power, obstruction of Congress. And then you read what they allege to be obstruction of Congress. It's the president exercising his rights. The, the different federal agencies that were asked for information. This is the obstruction of Congress. These federal agencies all responded. They responded to the committee. Said, here, let's have a conversation about how to get you information that you want without violating the executive privileges that every president's been afforded. 